Hello, Internet. This is Olin from What I'm Listening To. Today, I'm here to talk about a genre that not a lot of people know about, and if they heard it, they would probably go, People listen to this? This is this is music? That genre I'm talking about is drone music. Drone music is a subgenre of experimental music, which basically places emphasis on repeated notes, clusters, and tones that go on over and over and over and over again, and those are known as drones. The genre first emerged in the 60s, and then over time it just started to gain more popularity. Bands started to incorporate it in their music, or just strictly experiment with drone. Some of the more popular bands out there are bands like Earth and Sun, which have taken metal and incorporated it with drone. And that's just to name a few. It, there are just so many drone bands out there, a lot of which just fall under the radar. Not many people know about them. But I'm here today to show you a collection of drone albums that I have collected. And it's a genre that I have been falling in love with with every drone album I hear. It's just such cool music, and uh, I'm excited to show off what I have. To start things off, the first album I have here, this is Bardo Pond's very first album. I have known about this band for quite quite some time. The first record I ever heard of theirs was Peace on Venus, which somebody described as if Fugazi took LSD. I'm not sure if that's an adequate description of their music, but I will say that it's definitely out there. That one was more of a later release, and they had a bit more of a refined sound, as refined as you could probably imagine what they would sound like. But since this is their first album, this is when they are really, really experimenting with their sound, and it was around the time when it came out where people were like, Whoa, you can, you can do that with music? It's a drone record, but it also incorporates elements of space and psychedelic rock. They're just a really, really cool band, and this one's released off the Drunken Fish record, which they put out the Harmony of the Spheres compilation, which you've heard me talk about. I freaking love that thing. I really wanted to check this one out. It also has an Amoeba recommendation sticker on it, which to me, you can't go wrong with, so uh, I'm excited to have this one in my collection. Next up, I have another employee recommendation. This is a group called Experimental Audio Research, also known as EAR. This is one of those few experimental supergroups that are out there. Kevin Shields from My Bloody Valentine has worked with these guys, but the main dude behind it is, I believe, the keyboardist from Spaceman 3. I basically trust anything that has Luciano's sticker on it, and I even talked to him about it. He said it's a fantastic record, and uh, I haven't really listened to it much yet, but um, considering that he's just the guru for experimental music, I'm totally excited to check this one out. <laughs> Next album I have here, this is a Stars of the Lid album, this is the Ballasted Orchestra. I have their last two records, the Tired Sounds of and then the Pink record, which unfortunately I can't remember the name of. But I realized I hadn't heard any of their older stuff and I wanted to invest in that. And I stumbled across this one and really dug the cover. It's a simple cover, but it, something about it just looks really cool. From what I've heard off of this one, it's not nearly as classical as the later releases. It's more electronic based. but. I love everything that they do, so uh, I'm just excited to have this one in my collection. Next up, I have a couple records by a duo called Yellow Swans. These guys are really, really good, and they have a lot of stuff under their belt, a lot of which are just self-release CDRs that are pretty damn hard to find. So anytime I find any of their records at Amoeba or any record store, I grab them. This one's called At All Ends, it's I think one of their more popular and accessible albums. What I like about it is it's really deserty sounding. It's just this really tripped out, crazy, apocalyptic, noisy record. They're, uh, they're just 
so so good and then this one this is actually an ep called being there they have an album called going places which i think is their other most popular record uh this one just has a couple of stuff that didn't make that record and i really really wanted to get it because i think the cd was only included off the final release of going places but i managed to snag it for super cheap on discogs so thank you very much for that another just super crazy noisy record has these layers that just build upon one another until it just kind of explodes into this like massive crazy sound it's hard to describe them you just have to hear them and experience them for yourself it's just it's a total trip definitely worth checking out <laughs> wasn't expecting to find this in store, but I'm really glad I did. This is a Jeffrey Cantu Ledesma record. This guy is awesome. He was in another group called Torrental, which I've actually talked about in past vlogs, but he's pretty well known in the experimental area. He has done numerous solo records and collaborated with numerous other experimental musicians. This is the first solo record of his that I ever heard, Love is a Stream, and like the Yellow Swans, just gorgeous, noisy, amazing music. It's not as chaotic as the Yellow Swans, it is a lot more composed, but if you like noise music, this is definitely one worth checking out. album I have here. This is a Jarbo album. She got her popularity from being in the band Swans, and after Swans broke up in 1997, she went on to just release solo record after solo record. Her style is all over the place. She's released blues albums, uh, noise, experimental, industrial, and then she released this one, which is just a straight-up drone record. It's her on vocals and guitar, and then another dude on guitar, and they just do these really spooky, creepy-sounding songs. Some of which it sounds like she's just reciting poetry over just a guitar that goes on and on and on. It's ten songs, and it's almost 80 minutes of music, which I love when bands just put as much content on their CDs as they possibly can, because it just makes it all the more reason to get it. So I'm excited to add this to my collection. This is my first Jarbo record that I've ever heard of hers that's solo, so this one should be a fun listen. And the very last thing I have here, this is another Luciana recommendation. This is Natural Snow Buildings. I was talking to Luciano about some other experimental album, and he was asking me if I had ever heard of these guys, and uh, recommended that I check this album out. The band's actually a duo, so it's these two folks, uh, Eisengrind and Twin Sister Moon. The first disc is actually some of their solo work, so eight songs by Eisengrind and then eight songs by Twin Sister Moon. And then the second disc is where they both come together and make music. Their style of drone is more on the folky side, so they use acoustic instruments that just, like I said, go over and over and over again. It really showed me that drone can be approached in many different ways. It was unlike anything I'd ever heard. The artwork is killer, and I'm just so thrilled to have this one. I'm probably going to have to dig deeper into their content. <laughs>
Okay, internet, that does it for me. Uh, my roommates picked the perfect opportunity to make as much noise outside of my room as they could while I'm recording, but, you know, that's what happens when you live with other people, so... Uh, if you have any music, albums, bands you want me to check out, leave a comment down below, and if I like it, maybe I'll include it in the vlog. But until then, this is Olin from What I'm Listening To, signing out. Goodbye.